Hello, everyone. Um, I'm trying to do this thing right now where I stop talking about my divorce in front of strangers. It's not going great so far. Uh, this is a big swing and a miss on that one. And I'm trying to stop because it makes people uncomfortable when they find out I'm divorced. And it makes them uncomfortable because I'm young. And I know that's why it makes them uncomfortable because they tell me. <laughs> My ex-wife, she left me. And if you have to get divorced, I recommend doing it the other way. Um, <laughs> for sure, it seemed like that was more fun on her side of things. Uh, and I didn't do, like I didn't do anything. Well, I did something. I was me. That's what I did. Like she came home from work, sat me down, and then made a number of very good points. <laughs> that is the worst way to get dumped through a series of very reasonable arguments. Where at the end you're like, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> you have convinced me. You've convinced me so thoroughly that if I could, I would go with you. <laughs> Kudos, madam. One thing she said to me, she was like, Will, you have no goals, you have no ambition, you have no drive in life. But I feel like me leaving you is gonna be the thing that like spurs you out there to like go and be something and make something of yourself. And I feel like that was a really horrible thing to say to me. Because now I want to ruin my life just to prove her wrong. <laughs> I want her to find me living under an overpass in 10 years. So I can be like, shows what you know, asshole. <laughs> now you have to remarry me. Uh, there's um, there's a, a billboard I hate so much. You see it a lot when you're driving kind of like in the middle of nowhere. And on one side, it'll say something like, what if that fetus you aborted would have gone on to cure cancer? Just a little fun thing to talk about on your drive. And then on the other side, there's a picture of a sad baby who's like, why would you abort me with all my knowledge of science? <laughs> Two problems with that billboard. One, that's not how science works, you guys. Like curing cancer is gonna be a team effort of a bunch of scientists. It's not just gonna be some guy in his basement who's like, it turns out it was cinnamon all along. <laughs> why didn't you call me first? I always try cinnamon. It's why they call me the cinnamon. Problem two, that logic goes both ways. Yeah, sure, maybe that fetus would have gone on to cure some or all forms of whatever disease, but maybe that fetus would have gone on to murder your entire family. <laughs> or maybe that fetus would have gone on to become an abortion doctor. Oh shit, you guys. <laughs> Oh my God, what if all abortions have been of future abortion doctors? What a paradox! I do appreciate the like, a commitment the anti-abortion movement has to their cause. Cause like nobody's like, I just think they like making signs. Like they're committed to what they're doing. Cause they will go out on the weekends with flyers printed up with pictures of like bloody fetuses on them. And they will go up to people and they'll be like, look at it, look at it, get a good look. Because that is what it looks like when you murder a child and deny it the right to a life. Here's the thing with this logic though. I'm someone who's currently living a life and I feel like it is worth pointing out, it's kind of overrated. Like, if somebody would have been like, would you have wanted your mother to abort you? I'd be like, oh no, I would have missed out on getting divorced. <laughs> no! I just wish both sides took this approach. I wish the pro-choice side was out there with flyers with pictures of like Rome and Munich and London on them going up to people and being like, look at it! Look at it! Get a good look! Because that is the closest you are ever gonna get because raising a child is incredibly expensive and you'll never afford a good vacation! <laughs> Or it's a beautiful couch with like rips and stains on it. Look at it! This was a $7,000 couch two weeks ago. That is what it looks like when you choose life. Yeah, I like things better than children, you guys. You know why? Because when you buy something, you know what you're getting. No one's ever bought a television and been like, I hope this thing doesn't turn out to be an asshole in 18 years. I'm done, thanks a lot, guys.